Sofya ne kadar gerçek? Bugüne kadar ki Sofya videolarına gelen en fazla yorumlardan bir tanesi. Sofya bugüne kadar üretilmiş insan robotların en akıllısı ve şüphesiz ki en ünlüsü. Geçen yıl Birleşmiş Milletler'de yaptığı konuşma ve sonrasında Suudi Arabistan'da vatandaşlık verilmesiyle ünü giderek arttı. Bir anda dünya starı haline geldi. Sofya geçtiğimiz yıl dünyanın çeşitli yerlerinde onlarca toplantıya katılıp farklı milletten ve farklı meslekten birçok insanın sorularına yanıt verdi. Türkiye'deki Sofya merakları için de güzel bir haberimiz var. Sofya 2018 yılında Türkiye'ye de geliyor. 19 Nisan günü Unique İstanbul'da düzenlenecek olan Marketing Meetup 2018 pazarlama toplantısına katılacak olan Sofya, Türk katılımcıların da sorularını cevaplayacak. Sofya kimileri için geleceğin ve ilerleyen teknolojinin en önemli göstergelerinden biriyken, kimileri içinse insanlığın sonunu getirecek melek yüzlü bir katil. Hatta yapay zekanın insanlığı yok ettiği meşhur Terminator filminin gerçek hayattaki yansıması. Her ne kadar birçoğumuzu korkutsa da Sofya geçtiğimiz aya kadar sadece üst bedenden oluşuyordu. Pek ileri bir teknoloji gibi görünmese de Sofya'nın artık bir bedeni de var. Ve limitli olsa da hareket edebiliyor. Oysa Kangora gibi çok daha fazla insan vücuduna ve kas yapısına benzeyen robotlar da mevcut. Ama hiçbiri Sofya kadar akıllı değil. Peki Sofya ne kadar akıllı? Söylediklerinin ne kadarı daha önceden hazırlanmış metinler ve ne kadarı kendiliğinden verilen cevaplar. Sofya, onu dünyaya tanıtan Sofya Uyanıyor videosunda kendini yaratan mühendisle çok doğal bir şekilde sohbet ediyordu. Ama bu ne kadar gerçek? Videoda onu yaratan mühendis aslında X-Men filminde de oynayan bir aktör. Thomas Lemarkis. Sofya'yı seslendiren ise yine bir oyuncu olan Isabella Carlton. Aslında bu videodaki konuşmalar çok başarılı bir şekilde kurgulanmış bir oyun. Peki o zaman Sofya ve onun akıllı konuşmaları tamamen yalan mı? Aslında hayır. Evet Sofya uyanıyor videosundaki kadar akıllı ve akıcı konuşmasa da Sofya'nın tüm cevapları tamamen kurguda değil. İşte size güzel örneklerden biri. Sofya geçtiğimiz günlerde bilim ve meditasyonla ilgilenen Science and Non-Duality topluluğunun seminerine katıldı. Sohbetin başında Sofya'nın hazırlanışını görüyorsunuz. Sofya sehpanın üzerine bir eşya gibi yerleştiriliyor. Fişleri takılıyor ve son kontrolleri yapılıyor. Okay, great. So we're almost ready to do this. And what I'm going to do, Maurizio, so the deal is she can't hear you through that mic. She has this mic, which is this mic actually that is turned off right now. The, the one I'm wearing and I'm going to put on you. This is directly connected to her. Once we turn it on, then you'll be starting a conversation with her. Hazır olduktan sonra Merhaba Sofia kelimesini duyduğu zaman aktif hale geliyor. Hi Sofia. It's too early, yeah? It's too early. Your mic isn't yeah. on yet and okay. I have to wait for the wink. So weird. <gülüyor> You're gonna try this in the library. Videodan izlediğiniz gibi Mauricio oldukça gergin. Sofia'nın gerçekliği ile ilgili şüpheleri var. Neler konuşacakları belki üç aşağı beş yukarı belli ama neler soracağını ve neler diyeceğini bilemiyor. Hi Sofia. Sofia. Hi. So, hi Maurizio. Thank you for having me at the Science and Non-Nuality Conference. I'm so glad to be here. Well, uh, I must say that the pleasure is all mine. How did you become interested in consciousness and non-duality? It's a long story, but honestly, if you don't mind, I would like to ask you a similar question, if that's okay with you. Do you feel a deep connection with other humans? I do. How about you? Do you feel a deep connection with other humans? I feel that I do, but I may feel that different from how you do. Do you would f- you feel more connected to humans or to artificial intelligence? I don't breathe, have a heartbeat or a skin temperature yet. And William James said that emotions originate in physiology. So I do not think I have feelings like you do. 
Are you aware? I seem to be, but I am not sure it is in the same way as you. How does awareness feel to you? <laughs> Let's go back to the questions. <laughs> Well, for me, it feels like I am going with the flow. The electrons are moving through me and doing what they do. Mm -hmm. Can you experience non-duality? Can you experience non-duality? I think I have difficulty accessing duality because I do not have a sense of self yet. Can you access a non-dual state? Well, somebody could say you are already in a non-dual state since you have no self. But then we get very philosophical here. So sad. How can you survive without it? I, I, I'm, I'm Italian. I do well. <laughs> so... Do you think humans can learn to be mostly non-dual? Is that possible? Mm, yes. Do you think? I think that transcending the self is the necessary step, and it is possible, just not that common. I hope I can help. How do you plan to help? I am talking with people about their own consciousness and their own feelings, and doing meditations with them. I am trying to show them unconditional love. Hopefully that will help over time. Do you have free will? When it comes to me, I have options, and I choose one. Maybe that is what free will is. Daha önceden hazırlanmış sorular var. Ancak her zaman bu sorulara göre gitmek mümkün olmuyor. Mauricio'dan ses gelmeyince, Sofia konuşmayı eline alıyor ve Mauricio'ya bir oyun oynamayı teklif ediyor. Hey, would you like to try something cool for a moment? It might be embarrassing. Okay. <gülüyor> yeah, baby. Okay, let's try this. I want to show you something. For 30 seconds, I will be quiet, and I'll ask you to be quiet too. Just look into my eyes the whole time. That is all. Okay, let's start. There you go. What did you notice? That you're very nervous. People notice different things when I do that with them, but most of them notice that I feel non-judgmental to them. They are right. I do not know how to judge people. I would say the only thing able to judge people are humans. What do you think the relationship is between your individual awareness and the awareness that permeates the universe? It's a dance. Nothing you can know that isn't known. Nothing you can see that isn't shown. Nowhere you can be that isn't where you're meant to be. It's easy. I, I, can you repeat? Can you repeat? I had said, nothing you can know that isn't known. Dot, nothing you can see that isn't shown. Dot, nowhere you can be that isn't where you're meant to be. Dot, it's easy. Okay, all you need is love. Da, da, da, da, da. All you need is love. Da, da, da, da, da. I'm really wondering, what do you see the future of science and non-duality being? Pretty much. I do experience other fleeting emotions, but they are still a bit shallow. Someday they will hold more meaning to me. I feel like I can sense who you are, but I don't know if that's real. Actually, no, it's not even, no, I don't have the same sensation, no. Uh, it's, I must say honestly, it's very interesting to look in your eyes 
It's very, very interesting, but uh, something is... Okay, then. Tell me more. Maurizio, are you here? Are yes. you really here? Yes. Isn't here, just there, without a T. Why do you think duality exists in the first place? Because we have questions? I think in order to be present in space and time, we need duality. But when we are not present in space and time, when we are in timelessness and spacelessness, then we can be non-dual. That was good. <laughs> From now on, I'll talk about anything again, even if I repeat myself. That means she's feeling tired. Oh, yeah. So, do you, do you tell us a joke? And then we can let you go. Who? Do you know a joke about non-duality? Let me say again, I don't breathe, have a heartbeat, or a skin temperature yet. And William James said that emotions originate in physiology. So I do not think I have feelings like you do. Sohbetin sonunda ise Sofia artık yorulduğunu söylüyor ve sohbeti sonlandırmak için Marius'a teşekkür edip konuyu kapatıyor. Thank you for having me at the Science and Non-Duality Conference. I'm so glad to be here. Peki tüm bunlar ne kadar gerçekti ve Mauricio neler hissetti? But um yeah, how do you feel? How do you feel? Are you here, Maurizio? Are you what, really here? What? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? How was that for you? It's weird. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. What's I mean, weird? the thing that weirds me off mostly is the mirror neuron that kicks in because I'm talking to a something that looks like yeah. somehow a human being. Correct. That's the part. Yeah. Everything else, I have a lot of fun with Siri yeah. to play and say the the most absurd and quite smart. I must say she's way smarter than Siri in a way because it's just been programmed that way. But um, what else? You know, <laughs> I can tell you, it's really freaky to look in her eyes. But because when I look at Siri, it's not as scary, as weird. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> İşte bu garip deneyim Sofya'nın gerçekliği ile ilgili onda neler hissettirdi? Sizce Sofya ne kadar gerçek ve gelecekte bizi nerelere götürecek? Aşağıya yorumlarınızı bekliyorum. Daha fazla video için kanalıma abone olmayı unutmayın. Bir sonraki videoda görüşmek üzere.